Good morning, broadcasters. 360 Seconds News and Commentary for Broadcast Professionals is on the air. I'm Maria Kolodova from TKT. Let's discuss the latest technological news with our respected expert, Philip Grossman. Don't forget to give the program a like. Zero Density is set to revolutionize the graphic ecosystem by introducing a new approach to real-time animated graphics and rendering at NAB. This includes a brand new approach powered by an Unreal Motion design, which aims to increase rendering and compositing quality while simplifying asset creation and integration and reducing operator complexity. We have a representative from the company, Ralph Van Vechten, to talk a little bit more about this. My name is Ralph Van Vechten. I'm the CMO of uh, Zero Density. I think we have some really exciting news to bring to uh, NAB. Uh, so we have uh, taken a fresh look at the entire graphics ecosystem and at NAB we will launch a series of products that will help you to be more efficient uh, and create more high quality graphics. Um, so what we mean with that is that we are able to create assets once and use them in uh, real-time motion graphics, pre-production motion graphics, but also in virtual production. So the costs go down, the quality goes up. I think we have uh, something really cool to share. So, Philip, what do you think about this? Well, you know, I'm always a fan of of bringing simplicity to the tools for creators. We, we've had sort of the AR, the XR, the VR tech, the motion graphics tech, um, with the latest trend in AI, which is just really advanced algorithms, more or less. Um, we're, you know, those tools have been there, but they have not been for the, how do you say it, the faint of heart. They've been difficult to use. And I think zero density is approach, although there's not a lot of the details around it, but from trying to read sort of the tea leaves, it looks like they're going to simplify the workflow across multiple motion graphics, VR, XR environments. So you can create something once to use for, you know, uh, XR and then use it in VR, use it in set extension, use it in news so that they're building a, an ecosystem ecosystem to allow this to happen. So I think it's exciting. I'm going to have to swing by their booth in the next week or two when I get out to NAB. Great. Okay. Now moving on to JVC with JVC KYPZ510 technology at its core, the new 540 cameras incorporate the brand's award-winning features such as AI-enabled advanced smart audio tracking operation and NDI-supported IP-based remote operation capabilities. So Philip, can you talk to us about this? Yeah. So there's a, a lot of uh, new PTZs coming out. And I think it's, it, especially in the sports world, it's pretty amazing, especially with their support for NDI because it really simplifies single cable operation, enabling them to put these cameras in locations that they would not necessarily be able to get to or to be able to utilize. Um, and then, of course, with a 40 times zoom, it's really sort of targeted towards sports uh, or, or long range entertainment, I guess you could. Uh, and then uh, adding in that AI tracking capability starts to simplify how you can produce a live show. No longer are you going to need 20 camera operators. Um, you can reduce the number of camera operators. You can allow the cameras to sort of track the action and the play. So it's exciting to see what they're going to be doing. Uh, Panasonic is known for its its camera tech, its sensor tech. So incorporating this into a larger range of PTZs is you know, going to really extend what you can do with them. And I can see these being, and they're not that expensive. I think they're in the range of $2,500, $3,000. So you can set up, you know, more home home type studios or small flash studios in, in news operations and just extend what you're able to do. Great. Thank you. Now moving on to Matrox. Matrox video is set to demonstrate its products and share examples of how they help in broadcasting, live events, and other media related activities. Among others, the exhibition will feature the Monarch Edge series, known for its encoding and decoding capabilities, including support for 4K, multi-HD, low latency, streaming, and upcoming features such as HDR and Dolby Audio. So, Philip, can you unpack this for us? 
Yeah. So, you know, Matrox has been around for a long time, I think 40 some odd years now, and they were the go-to professional graphics card, you know, play out servers, use the Matrox card. Um, and then we started to slowly move towards the NVIDIA based cards for a lot of this graphics. And of course, recently, I think in the last year or two, Matrox and NVIDIA have started collaborating together to produce these new uh, series of cards. And of course, NVIDIA with its uh, acquisition of Mellanox adds in that additional 2110 and networking capability. So now we're starting to see the power of the graphics, the 2110 IP-based solutions, and Matrox is, is you know, their, their product line really enabling a lot of that. So it's exciting to see what they're doing. Um, a lot of times there are, you know, there wasn't a lot of that tr sort of that transcode or, or, or SDI to IP or just 2110 in general. Um, and they're now enabling this on smaller and larger scale. So smaller organizations, larger organizations will be able to adopt the 2110 technology. And then they're adding and then laying in the graphics, which is the HDR and the, the, the uh, uh, standards conversion. So the product sets really sort of being filled out now. So um, they're still sort of the go-to professional graphics uh, uh, um, organization and product line. Great. Thank you so much. Many thanks to our expert, Philip Grossman. And don't forget to comment on the news that we've discussed. See you next Monday at the same time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.